I've been at the border, uh, at the Polish-Ukrainian border, and I have seen and inquired about uh, what measures are in place to ensure that the, ch the many, many children who cross the border alone uh, traveled with I ideas, identity documents, which would allow them to, you know, to accede to all sorts of child protection measures once they uh, pursued uh, their, their journey. And very regretfully, especially in the beginning, that did, that did not happen. I mean, children were just pushed over the border, border and, uh, you know, by parents uh, in the hope to, to save their lives because bombs were falling on their houses uh, and atrocities were developing. Um, these children then, some of them perhaps were lucky, uh, others obviously have been very, very unlucky because uh, it's as always traffickers are there when, when there's particular vulnerability. So they were waiting at some point. I didn't see them because I was there in the evening, but I didn't see these vans. And I also saw very, some very positive things, I must say. The Polish authorities were really doing a great job job, not only governmental, but especially uh, municipal authorities. But there were vans with traffickers taking these children, I don't know where, and they are lost. And I know that many, many children are unlocated, un we don't know where they are. Uh, and so that's a big, big problem because anything can happen and the child protection services cannot enter into action if, if that, that element is missing. So what is needed is really a centralized, coordinated service between border authorities, child protection authorities within the EU, and that also is gradually being being uh, being created. And uh, uh, the situation has obviously improved, but uh, it's it's very worrying because a lot of people, children, uh, girls and boys, are are not accounted for. And I'm not even mentioning now uh, what we also uh, know. Uh, is that uh, some of these children who uh, were, were uh, kidnapped by the Russians uh, and who are now in presumably somewhere in Russia and being put up for adoption, which is, uh, which is a practice uh, facilitated by the Russian authorities. And uh, will they ever know who their parents were? I mean, these are young children. They, uh, they... This is a very, very serious issue.